All right, guys. I uh, didn't plan on going live for this real quick, but I just... Um, it makes sense that I'm going live without thinking about it for the topic that I'm going to talk about today. So if you've been in any of my digital courses or um, any of my live trainings or if you've been a client of mine or are a client of mine, you know how um, excellent the strategies I have are at like getting time management taken care of, right? So um, I'm big on time management. I'm big on, um, Seren, what's up girl? I'm big on, um, making a plan that works, that works for you. And like, not everybody operates on the same level. Not everybody appreciates the same style and the same flow, uh, for their work and productivity, but there's always a way to tweak it for you. That being said, I want to talk about, um, procrastination and they, you know, obviously they're tightly tied, right? And so a lot of times I'll give my clients, um, the right boundary techniques, tools, and training so that they can have procrastination eliminated from their scenario of not getting stuff done. But I'm, I'm big on, although I'm big on a plan that makes sense to me because I get, I get scatterbrained and I need to have, like, I need to have things that work. I need to, um, I need to have, uh, I need to know what's coming next because it helps me, like, calm my mind down. But at the same time, and there are lots of mechanisms I use to make to keep me right on track with everything. Um, I, I have support. I have help. I have tech. I have um, I have uh, automation. But when the mood strikes you to do something, I'm going to turn my heat off a little. It's getting a little bit dry in here. Dry eyes. Okay. So when you when you have an an idea to do something. And you're like, oh yeah, I should do that. I'm going to remember to do that. If you ever get that feeling, that's the time to do it right now. Like if you're ever like, oh, I should text that person and let them know X, Y, Z. Do it right now. Do it now. You'll forget. Um, I know sometimes people get in the car and they're like, oh, that's a really, really good idea. I've pulled over to the side of the road and written my good idea in my phone in a note section or voice texted myself or like any of that, like to capture it, right? Because things are going on really, really quickly. Um in our minds, in our days, in our businesses. And hey, Lisa, same, right? So, so things are, th things happen quickly. And if you, if you have a good idea or if you have a message you need to give, it's time to jump in and give it. Like, so it's less, less to carry around. It requires less mental load. It makes you feel more productive because you are being more productive. And it gives you a, it gives you like a positive hit. Like you get like some serotonin hit, right? And uh, a little bit of endorphin when you get something done. So uh, I, I literally just pulled to the side of the road a minute ago and sent a text message to a client that was, she's a, a potential client. She wants to work with me for coaching. And I sent her a message because I'm like, I'm gonna do this now. I will forget and that's important to me. I know she was struggling and I wanna reach out to her. And I had a lot going on this week, of course, and um, and I just had to attend a very, very sad funeral. So, um, so it, I feel like it would have gotten lost if I didn't do it the second I thought about it. You know what I mean? So, if you have an idea for a landing page or some copyright you wanted to write down for a new email campaign or whatever, do it now. Like capture it in your phone somewhere. Put it, um, put it in an email to yourself if you have to. Put it in your calendar. For like three hours later when you know you're going to be sitting down at your desk, put it in your calendar in the notes section. Like I would title something like, remember, remember to store this email or remember to create this email. And in the notes section, I would create the body of the email that I had the idea for, you know. And then so I know when I'm sitting down and I don't have an appointment at 3 p.m. today, I'll get the reminder to do it. And I actually have time to do it then, you know. So um, so even if it's like remembering and in the moment so that you don't avoid procrastination in the moment schedule the reminder to do it or in the moment just get it done if it's something you can get done in a second like a phone call or a text message or a post really quickly or a story really quickly on Facebook or Instagram do it like that do it right right away and you'll save yourself time you'll clear up mental space so that you don't have to remember something else you will keep things off your calendar if you do it like if it's something you can get done right away and you don't have to add it to your calendar the less digital like tasks we have to do the better we feel so um, although I'm all for getting reminders on my digital calendar but you know like you don't want to have this overwhelming list of 20 things on there like I, I keep mine between like five and eight things a day on my digital calendar outside of appointments so um but the truth is you have to act on it too if you get the reminder get in the habit of doing it the second you get the reminder on your calendar because if you don't those calendar, like putting things in your digital calendar will do nothing for you. It'll just end up being something you do, but it, it won't be a tool anymore because if it's not prompting you to get the thing done, you won't get it done, right? So 
when you get those pop-ups, if you're using your calendar in that way as a reminder um, to do something with an actual task attached to it, make sure that you are honoring and respecting your decision to do that and do it right away. Otherwise, you'll just end up with like this to-do list every day. And we don't do to-do lists. We get to done lists done, right? So I hope that's helpful for you. For all of those procrastinators out there, I feel like we all get into the swing of it. Some are worse than others. But um, but do it in the moment. Here's here's another quick example of, of how this is helpful to me. My mom always used to say, Sandra, why didn't you grab your laundry on your way up the stairs? And I'm like, I don't know, because I didn't feel like it. I'll do it later. And she's like, now you have more work to do. Now you have to come back to the dining room table, grab your load of laundry, and bring it upstairs. You could have just grabbed it on the way there. We end up making more work for ourselves. I think about that all the time, and now I hear myself telling my kids that. So you end up making more work for yourself if you don't do it in the moment anyway, because you've had the thought. You could do it. Instead, you'll have the thought. You don't do it. Now you have anxiety about it. Now you have to take up that bait, that uh, that data space, like those that memory data byte in your head, in order to keep it before you get it done. It's more work. It's more mental work. It's more work for time. It's more everything. So just get it done on your way. Think about it like that. My example with the um, with the laundry on the table, or. Um, or if we, when we lived in a house that had like, we had three stories. Um, when I lived in high school, we lived in an old Victorian. And so my mom would put our stuff, if she found stuff throughout the house that was ours, she'd put it at the bottom of the stairs, like take it up with you. Like that was, I mean, my dad did not let clutter sit. So like you had to take your stuff up with you. But I would like leave it there. I'd take like three trips upstairs and just not take it with me. And my mom would be like, take it up with you. It doesn't make any sense not to take it up with you. And really, honestly, she's like, now you got to come back downstairs. Now you got to pick it up again and take it all the way. That's a second trip up to the third floor, Sandra. What are you thinking? And really my only excuse was I didn't want to bend down and pick it up. Well, you have to eventually bend down and pick it up, Sandra. So why don't you just pick it up the first time so that A, you don't get yelled at, B, you don't get annoyed and stressed out, and C, I'm doing A, a B, and C. We get that, right? Okay. Okay. I'm tired. So, um, and C, we, I have to go back and do it anyway. Now I've just made more work for myself. So avoid making more work for yourself. Um, attack the thing that you think about. It'll feel better. It'll give you more clarity in your mind, free up mental space, and you'll be a productive person. You start stacking these habits and that's how productivity starts rolling. You started getting addicted to the productivity that you do. So hope that's helpful for you guys today. I have to go into work. The big R is calling me. Do you see it? I'm about to start a revolution, ladies. All right, guys, go kill your day.